he can't really seem to find where he's gonna fall in. Ted Cruz just can't really find his flow. So if you guys remember, he was back, uh, I think it was last month. Uh, he went on Tucker Carlson's show at the beginning of the year talking about everything from January 6th and how he egregiously called it terrorism. Let's watch. Uh, we are approaching a solemn anniversary this week. Uh, and it is an anniversary of a violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. So I guess what I, I mean, there are a lot of dumb people in the Congress. You're not one of them. I think you're smarter than I am. Uh, and you never use words carelessly. Um, and yet you called this a terror attack when by no definition was it a terror attack. That's a lie. You told that lie on purpose. And I'm wondering why you did. Well, Tucker, thank you for having me on. When you aired your episode last night, I, I sent you a text shortly thereafter and said, listen, I'd like to go on because the way I phrased things yesterday, it, it was sloppy and, and it was frankly dumb. And I don't and buy that. Whoa, 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 I don't whoa. buy that. For, look, I've known you a long time since before you went to the Senate. You were a Supreme Court contender. You take words as seriously as any man who's ever served in the Senate. And every word you repeated that phrase, I do not believe that you use that accidentally. I just don't. It's so Tucker, as a result of my sloppy phrasing, it's caused a lot of people to misunderstand what I meant. Let me tell you what, what I meant to say. What I was referring to are, are the limited number of people who engaged in violent attacks against police officers. I wasn't saying that the thousands of peaceful protesters supporting Donald Trump are somehow terrorists. I wasn't saying the millions of, of, of patriots across the country supporting President Trump are terrorists. And that's what a lot of people have misunderstood well, that comment. Wait a second, but even you yeah. wait, but hold on, what you just said doesn't make sense. So if somebody assaults a cop, he should be charged and go to jail. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. We have said that for years. But that person's still not a terrorist. Mm. That was uh, sad and uh, very embarrassing. So by the way, Ted Cruz, he found a new way to potentially get back into Tucker Carlson's good graces because Mitch McConnell did say this, by the way. It was yesterday, this is all going around now. It was a violent insurrection for the purpose of trying to prevent a peaceful transfer of power after a legitimately certified election from one administration to the next. That's what Mitch McConnell, Senate head of Republicans told reporters. That's what it was. Ted Cruz said, "Oh yes, here's my opportunity. I can come back, here's my chance. Here's Ted Cruz's comeback. Yesterday, McConnell said that the Chapel of January 7th was a violent insurrection. Do you agree with him that it was a violent insurrection? <laughs> the word insurrection is politically charged propaganda. It is happily used by Democrats and the corporate media. I think it is a mistake for Republicans to repeat the political propaganda of Democrats and the corporate media. He keeps, you notice Ted Cruz gives away, he's so awkward. He's like, I'm answering your question. Let me look at the camera so they can get this on the next piece. I think it's Democrats. I can't believe he wants to make sure that you see him talking because this is a setup. He can't, all he's thinking about is trying to get ahead again because now he's behind and everyone knows how ridiculous he is and how he has zero principles and he's just trying and trying and no one really likes this guy. So now he texts Tucker Carlson, I'm sure, next, and he goes, Tucker, can I come back on your show again? Maybe I can clear things up. May you be nice to me this time? No, he won't be. We know who you are. <laughs>